and it is called Things Are Not Always As They Appear. Sometimes I see things, and they are not as they appear. I know what they really are, but my imagination likes to tell a different story. I saw a wasp going from car door handle to car door handle in the post office parking lot in the hopes of finding one of them unlocked so that he may steal the stereo. No luck, but I was willing to wait and watch because I really wanted to see how he was going to carry it. As I drove home, a person was running down the street at top speed, leash in hand. I never saw a dog. If there was one, it was ever behind a large object, a bush, a utility box, another car driving by. The person running me and the car were always moving, slowly changing perspectives of our view of each other. Then I had a thought. Well, it is pretty windy, and I don't see a dog. Perhaps the strong wind was blowing that person in the leash down the, up the, down the street and up the, or down the road and up the street. I hope so, because they were laughing, and it looked like a lot of fun. And speaking of dogs, I was once outside a hardware store in Point Reyes Station, California. Two Great Danes sitting in an SUV in, and in the driver's seat and the passenger seat. Two dogs looking like they were waiting for a friend shopping inside. Another dog, I'm sure of it. I don't know where they were going, but it was probably the beach. So I expected to see a third Great Dane or perhaps a poodle or maybe a Cocker Spaniel come trotting out of the store, plastic bucket in mouth, shovels tied to his or her collar, ready to build sandcastles or go running in the waves. I saw a man jogging through town. I was sitting in an outdoor restaurant and as he jogged by shirtless, the wall from the outdoor seating area obscured his lower half, making him appear to be streaking, not jogging. Five minutes later, I saw him running in a different direction, this time with three other people. I could see that he was wearing shorts, so I imagined that one of the three people had a spare pair, and now he had, had, a, had collected a following. I thought, perhaps he wasn't jogging at all, but spreading the word about something really awesome nearby. <laughs> I would have joined, but there was no way I could have kept up. I was wearing heels, and also my burger arrived. <laughs> I went into my parents' bathroom to, well, you know, use it. And in front of the toilet sat my mother's slippers, positioned as if feet had so recently been nestled snugly in them. It appeared that she had been raptured right out of her footwear, right off the toilet, as she sat there heeding nature's call. The rapture took her and her pajamas, but not her slippers. I could only conclude that you don't need slippers in heaven. And lastly, when I feed my cats and they meow, Right as I'm setting the food down, I say, you're welcome, because I'm sure that they're saying thank you.